हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इजी मैथमेटिक्स वी नो व्हाट इज प्रपोजिशनल लॉजिक एंड हाउ वी अप्लाई दिस प्रपोजिशनल लॉजिक बट द प्रपोजिशनल लॉजिक इज नॉट पावरफुल इनफ टू सिग्निफाई ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ एजर्शंस दैट आर यूज्ड इन कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड मैथमेटिक्स इट आल्सो फेल्स टू एक्सप्रेस सर्टेन टाइप ऑफ रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द प्रपोजिशंस सच एज इक्विवेलेंस so let us do with an example or we understand this thing with an example so for example it is given that x is less than 3 x is less than 3 here x is a variable where x is a variable and is not a proposition because it is true or false depend upon the value of x that means when we substitute x is equals to 2 we find out 2 less than 3 so this is a true statement when we substitute x is equals to 5 then this 5 less than 3 this one is false definitely so thus the propositional logic cannot deal with such sentences also propositional logic cannot be used for the pattern involved the following logical equivalent suppose one more example is given not all students learning logic not all students learning are learning logic that we can write same as some students are not learning logic just emphasize not all students are learning logic that means we can definitely write some students are not learning logic so now if this one not all students are learning logic we denote by p and some students are not learning logic we denote it by q then we can say if this p and q are equivalent or not there is no such mechanism in propositional logic to find out that thus we need a more powerful logic to deal with these type of sentences the predicate logic is one of such logic to involve these type of problems so to handle the deficiencies of propositional logic we introduce the predicate logic and it have two main parts one is the predicate another one is the quantifier quantifiers are again in two ways we can express one is the universal quantifier and another one is the existential quantifier so what are those all one by one we come to know about that so at first two components of predicate logic we should understand so that we can understand the predicate logic completely so it is the predicate what is predicate so in english the predicate is the part of sentence that tells us something about the subject it describes the property of subject or a relationship among objects represented by the variables so what does it mean so if we uh, consider the example that x is an integer so it has the two important parts one is the variable part that is x and another one is is, a, is an integer another one is the is an integer so this is an integer is called the predicate which refers the property of the subject that means x and it is denoted by the symbol px x is the variable p for the predicate and p of x is the predicate of x got it so this one is the predicate predicate means nothing but the uh, property which refers the subject so in logical terms we can say predicates are the st uh, statements involving variables which are neither true nor false unless the value of the variables are specified so that for example again x is greater than 3 here after assigning the values of the variable x the statement px becomes a proposition and has a truth value either true or false whenever a uh, statement is given and as this one here the variable given x so depending upon the value of x we can verify or we can say the given statement is true or false after substitution of this value of x whatever be the outcome we find out that is called the propositions which we come to know in our previous videos so that for 
if we have the given expression px this is the px predicate calculus or predicate logic of x so that one is equivalent to x greater than 3 it is given now when we substitute x is equals to 2 we can have p2 is equivalent to 2 greater than 3 so it is definitely false if we uh, substitute x for 3 we find out 3 greater than 3 which is again false because 3 is equals to 3 not greater than 3 now for x is equals to 4 we find out 4 is greater than 3 so it is a true statement so this one is the predicate now it is the time for quantifier so what is quantifier Quant quantifiers are the words that are that refers to quantities such as all some many none few etc in english we can say quantities uh, that means uh, quantifiers are used to express the quantities without giving an exact number. So, in any phrase, if such type of words are involved, these are not a perfect number or a particular number, then these are the quantifiers. So, for example, I have few lectures on logic. This one here the few this is the quantifier word and it will represent that I have some of the lectures of logic. Again I have many lectures on logic this is again the expression which can gives you a uh, insight that I have so many lectures in the logic. These quantifiers are two types one is the universal quantifier another one is the existential quantifier. For universal quantifier we can say let px be a propositional function over u, u is a universal set. Then the universal quantifier is denoted by for all x px and it read as the for all x belongs to u px is true. So universal quantifier we can express as for all x px that means whatever be the x are there for all of those this px is true hence the quantifier this sign this is for all is called the universal quantifier likewise for the definition we can say the existential quantifier which is same as let px be a propositional function over u u is the universal set then the existential quantifier is denoted by their exist this is the sign of their exist x px and it read as there exists at least one x belongs to you such that px is true. So, this uh, quantifier for uh, there exist is called the existential quantifier. So, let us explain it with an example. So, let here three uh, predicates are given. One is px which denotes x is a four wheeler. Second one is Qx which denotes x is a swift and third one is Rx which means x is manufactured by Maruti Suzuki. So these are the three predicates are given. Now from the first one we can say that means we want to establish the statement every four wheeler is a swift. Every four wheeler is a swift. So that means how we can express it in terms of the quantifiers so that now look every four wheeler is a swift means all the four wheelers all the four wheelers which are that means here look px is x is a four wheeler so all the four wheelers is a swift that means it implies qx this is a swift so for all x px implies qx okay now suppose the statement you want to express there is a four wheeler manufactured by Maruti Suzuki is not a swift. So, there is a four wheeler manufactured by Maruti Suzuki that means not all. So, there exist one x at least one x. So, where p x means it is the four wheeler and it is manufactured by the Maruti Suzuki that will implies it is not swift. So, not swift. So, this one is the expression. Now one more expression suppose every four wheeler that is a swift is manufactured by Maruti Suzuki if we want to express this one. So every four wheeler means for all x. So every four wheeler which is a swift that means four wheeler and swift that implies that it is manufactured by Maruti Suzuki. So we can express in this way. So this is the predicate logic. So we come to know about the predicate and quantifiers and the different type of quantifiers also. 
so based on all those there are few rules of quantifier so that we can express this predicate logic and how to express the predicate logic perfectly as an argument we know what is argument so in argument if such type of statements are given where the uh, few all such type of words are involved then how to express those arguments and how to validate them for them we go for the next lecture where we come to know about the few rules of inference few rules by which we can express the predicate calculus based on the quantifiers and the predicates so till that have a nice day and thank you all